Now that you've done the work on the voiceover file, you can now mix music with it or sound effects or an ambience in the background. So using the music with the voice is, is something that's done frequently, so that's, that's self-explanatory. And sound effects, well, you can use those to bring attention to a certain point on a presentation or a video. And nature ambience, well, if you're recording something outside and you clean up the audio to the extent that you can't hear the outside anymore then it may sound a little bit unnatural and what you would do then is put in some added ambience just to fool the listener really to, to make them think it was recorded on location So I'm using a piece of music that's royalty free from our library. As you can hear when I play it with the voice, it's a, it clashes a little bit. So there are a couple of things we can do here. At the side here on each track you've got a volume so you can just simply decrease the volume to mix it in. Now that can work sometimes but because music's quite dynamic at times, you might find that you've got a quiet bit of music and you adjust the level to suit the voice and it sounds perfect but then when the music builds up it then starts clashing with the voice so the other way you can do it is to use envelopes so you can go to this tool here and it creates an envelope and then you can click and drag and you can change the size of the waveform and the volume now what I want to do I just want to reduce the volume at the point where the voice comes in going along and double clicking at the top of this wave I've created nodes and then I can drag those and by clicking your mouse button and dragging them you can change the size of the envelope until it works with the voice so there's two ways you can match the volume of the music or sound effect to a voice and the third way is to use auto duck now what you need to do for auto duck the voice which is the control track is going to make the music quieter and that needs to be below the track so what we can do for that is go to the selection tool and just click and drag that track to the bottom and uh, what we do now is select the point on the music track that we want to have ducked and then we go to effect auto duck and it shows you the envelope and you can adjust the size of it which then determines how much duck amount you've got so there's 12 db there and uh, you can change a few parameters there and just click ok and what that does it ducks the music at that point where the voice track comes in so that's a handy little feature um, unfortunately I don't think there's no way to change that I don't think once you've done it other than click on do but once you've carried out a few more processes in different places on your soundtrack you won't be able to go back so this is something you should do maybe last or um, if you feel you might want to change it later save it as a different version once you've done it so you've got a version with no auto ducking and then you can always go back if you're not happy with it um, or use the envelope tool and you can although it'll take longer but you can always go back and change that at a later date if you need to so what you can do now is once you've finished all of your editing and you've added all the elements you want you can then export this as a finished stereo file so here we go we go to we select all tracks so we go control and a and then we go to export and we export this into our project folder we create a new folder called masters so that entire project now has been mixed down to a stereo audio file a final point to mention is that sometimes uh, people expect voiceover files to be mono so if you're working with somebody maybe a video producer and you're supplying them with the soundtrack and it's just a voiceover file they might expect it in mono and if that's the case then that's very easy to do you just select the voiceover track and go to 
tracks and go stereo track to mono and there you go it's now turned to mono and you can just export that as a, a mono WAV file. 